guys, welcome back to the Rose Moonlight channel. So today we're here with a video that is going to have all of my three subscription boxes, uh, Bridgebox, Ipsy, and Sephora Play in one video just to kind of make it time effective and that way I can show you which one out of the three boxes I really liked for the month of June. Um, so, I was very happy that I got them all kind of in the same time frame. I was like, yes, finally I can make a, this video. So, we'll get go ahead and get started. So, if you didn't know, um, all of these three subscriptions are just $10 a month. Um, free shipping, you know, they come with like about five samples, for the exception of Sephora Play. That one has a bonus perfume sample. And, yep. So we'll go ahead and get started with Birch Box. Usually comes in a, you know, orange box like this, and then there's a second box. Yay. And this box was kind of like a, I don't know, it just has some faces. To me, that's what it looks like, like some faces. They're colorful, very kind of, I guess, summer looking. So it was okay. I usually kind of just like to put like some of my samples back in here and you know use them for that and as usual it will come with um, a sheet that will tell you like the full price for the items that you received that way if you really do enjoy the product you can go ahead and purchase it and it lets the information right there which I really appreciate because I really like to kind of physically see the price and you know the name and more description about it you know but anyways so first off here we have an Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Um, it's a sea buckthorn uh, berry. So, yeah. Um, again, I don't really... One of the things for me is I really don't use dry shampoo. And I like almost every other box we've gotten like a dry shampoo. And it's like, oh, I don't know about that. But, I mean, I'll add it to the I'll Try pile. <laughs> um, I think I already have like also two other products from this Amiga company, uh, which I'm excited to try, but, I mean, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And that one actually retails for $24, the full-size bottle. Wow. So, yay, that's, that's that. And then we come here to, this, this one is a Vasanti Brighten Up New Skin Amplifying Moisturizer, and this is what it looks like. And this one is, it has aloe vera, avocado oil, vitamin E, and it's just a moisturizer, you know, you can put it at night or d during daytime before your makeup and everything. So that's good. I'm always into moisturizers because my skin is very dry. And then here we have this uh, blush duo. So let's see what it says about this. Um... It's, it's a papaya don't preach. I think that's the name. I'm having a hard time here. There, there we go. Okay. Um, it says, jury still out on pow powder versus um, cream. Bl 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 Cut. So it says, this is a blush duo. Um, jury still out on powder versus cream blush. You'll get a dabble on both in this pinky peach pear for formulas made from tropical ingredients including papaya and pomegranate. So this is what it looks like. It's a very nice, um, this one is the cream blush and this one's the powder one. This one is kind of a darker, kind of peachy orange. I'm going to go ahead and do a little swatch there. Ooh, that is some bright blush right there. Okay, so this bottom one, the cream blush, is definitely very uh, pigmented, kind of a, like a peachy pink tone, and the powdered one is more shimmery, kind of peach bronzy tone. So I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that right there, but it's really pretty. I do like them, but I'm going to have to go light-handed on this one just because I don't want to be too bright on my face, you know? <laughs> but anyways, this is actually really pretty. I like it. And that's that. Alrighty, and then we have awesome. 
This is an Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup um, color sand. Yes. And this is this is an oil free foundation that has medium to full coverage and yep. And this is retailed for about thirty nine fifty, the full size. And that's really cool. I like trying foundations, but I'm not sure if this is going to be my shade. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that might work. This is a really nice sample for a foundation. I really feel like I'll, I'll get a good use out of this. Here, let me, let me spread this around here. I think I put too much here. But it really blends in to my skin really well um it is not it doesn't feel like a, a mattifying foundation it's like a combination like yeah it's not sticky i like it it has an interesting finish it's not matte it's just like a really nice um combo i like it we'll see how it wears on this face because i've been having some issues with some certain foundations that are just extremely dry and now just uh, my face feels like I'm gonna like crack and fall apart okay last but not least we have this um, mellow cosmetics liquid paint in the color Deheron something like that it's always funny how they put these interesting names but it's never like a color it's just like a random name I don't know anyways so this full size would retail for $14 it says it's an ultra smooth liquid lipstick, has a velvety matte finish and a high pigment. Nude shade. It's a non-drying formula, so it's also and it's also vegan and paraben free. So, okay, cool. So it looks very kind of like a brown shade to me, like a coffee brown. Let's see. Yeah, that is lovely. There's no scent, but it's like a um, demi-matte, kind of coffee, brown, mauve style lipstick shade. What is that? I like it. I think it's really nice. So overall, this is kind of one of the better boxes I have received from Bridgebox. I don't know, lately I just haven't been really liking them. They've, I've been getting a lot of hair products, which I don't necessarily enjoy, um, just because I prefer to get more makeup. But, you know, this time was actually pretty, it was pretty good. It was really good. I got a little bit of everything for my hair, my face, my lips, and, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm, I'm liking this so far. So that was that. Let's go ahead and move on to Ipsy. Dun, 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 dun. As always, it comes in a pink bag. And let me see. There we go. <laughs> so it just says volume up. And, you know, the usual things they say on the card. Awesome. Just don't really read that much. It's just, you know. So anyways, I already, um, I opened this bag and I saw there's a nail polish in here and it was a very pretty color so I decided to go ahead and use it and put it on, that way I could show you the color. And it's, this is the color, it's uh, for this, um, nail polish Margaret Dabs London Fabulous Hands and Feet, let me see what the name is, Green Daylily, yeah. So this is like, this is a full size bottle, um, nail polish, and it's more like a dark, uh, deep teal color. It's really pretty. Um, I've already gotten compliments at work for the color of my nails. Um, I like it. It's really nice. Um, it hasn't chipped, you know, as fast as the other ones, but, um, I like it. So this was part of my bag. I'll go ahead and over here. And then the bag itself, this is what it looks like. It's a very, like, uh, I want to say, like, um, cloth material, kind of a, 
more hard, kind of the texture is kind of more rougher kind of material and has some lips on here um, and we'll go ahead and see we have a NYX whipped so here we have a NYX whipped lipstick or lip gloss something like that and this is in the color pink cloud you could use these for your lips or for cheek awesome that's cute I've actually not seen these out but it's cool and it has a doe foot applicator oh my gosh it smells like buttercream like that you know the buttercream and whipped cream thing on the cupcakes Oh, it smells so good. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch here. That is the prettiest, like, bubblegum pink. Very glossy looking. It smells amazing. Oh, I like this. What's that color? Right there, this is what it looks like. Very glossy. This is pretty. I am digging this. So far, so good. Okay, and then next we have uh, the balm product, and this is uh, a blush. Yes. Look at this shade. Balm Springs. I believe that is the name. So I always adore when I get samples like these because it's so adorable. It has like a magnetic little booklet, and I just I just think it's adorable. Yes, the little, you know, square is kind of small, but I mean, I don't mind, really. I could just do it a couple more times. Okay, let's see. Um, the blush is very, very faint, you know. It's like a, it has like a um, purpley kind of tone to it, pink-purple tone to it. There's no scent to it. It's very, very light, which is good. It does take a, a couple, you know, swatches to kind of build it up, which is okay. I don't think you can see that there, but let's see. And that is the shade right there. I do like it because I'd, I'd rather have something I can work with that it's light and buildable than having something so bright that, like, I really have to be careful, you know, to apply. So I really like this. Um, man, I'm, I'm getting so many blushes. <laughs> so here we have a Hey Honey Uncover Detoxifying Mud Mask. It's supposed to clarify and detox skin of impurities. So it's to normal to oily skin types, which is okay. So you just put it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes until dry and then rinse. So that's awesome. I've gotten a lot of products from Hey Honey before too. Let's see if there's anything interesting the smell I can say. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I can't get a scent from it, but that's really cool. I love getting myself some mud masks or sheet masks, anything to do for like a skincare, I love getting. And then Last but not least is this, wow, this is a nice big sample, Delectable Soft 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 um, Triple Moisture Body Lotion Coconut and Cream. It has shea butter, coconut oil, and aloe vera, paraben, phthalate, GMOs, mineral oil, and petroleum. All of those is a no-no, so they don't have any of those, so that's even better. Um... Let's try this out. Look at this size, guys. That is amazing. That is huge sample. That's awesome right there. That's, that's great. Mm, it smells like coconut and chip butter. It smells so good. It's not that thick consistency. It's more like of a medium. It's not very thin. Like some of the regular Bath and Body Works where it's like so thin, you just apply and phew, dissipates. And it's not as thick as a, I think, what is it called? Uh, you know, the other one that's kind of thicker. It's not like that. So this is more like an in-between cream. Not really heavy. It smells great. 
I think it's going to be an awesome product to try out. And that was it for Ipsy. And overall, I really enjoyed that one. That, I had really good samples. I, I did like it. We'll see what Sephora Play brings. Let's check that one out. Alrighty, again. So this one usually comes in a cardboard box, striped black and white. And this month, let's see what it says. Okay, I'm throw that one over there. So this is the little booklet for this month. It has that uh, with a 50 point card. Whenever you do make a purchase over at Sephora, you give them this and it just adds 15, 50 points to your account, um, which is awesome. And then here are the products that we got for this month. So, you know, kind of rundown of the products. Um, how to use them and any other like tips that they put so we'll keep that out and the bag for this month is back to I think they're switching like back and forth to like uh, cloth plastic uh, and then just you know all these other kind of type of bags which is fine I really don't care um, this is an interesting bag it says in a summer state of mind so hashtag Sephora play with a baby blue ribbon and white on the back. That's fine. Okay, first thing we pull out of the bag is the Professional by Benefit. And this is a little primer. This is the cutest little tiny sample. Um, I have not tried this before, so I'm excited. To use this and um, yep it's just to minimize the pores on your skin and everything and that sounds great I could always use one of those right <laughs> let's dig in here let's see we have a rich kid coconut oil gel uh, there we go so it's just a uh, so yeah it's just a coconut gel Let's see what it smells like. It's actually not that coconutty scented. It's like a, it smells like coconut lime or something. It's not that strong, which is really good. And this is the sample size. It looks like. That's good. So there's one hair's product. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. Yay, this is really cool. Let me look at this one for more. So this one is a way? I I don't I'm not quite sure if that's how you pronounce this. Way. Um Rose Hair and Body Oil. I'm loving that. It says this is a ultra hydrating um no wait. It's uh, <laughs> it's a rose hip oil, shea oil and Absinthium oil are the magic trio blend for this hydrating and lux lux luxurious, I can't speak today, I swear, luxurious multitasker. It is the perfect antidote to brittle hair, frizz, or dry skin caused by long days at the pool or beach. So apply one to three drops, whoa, into wet strands and allow hair to dry or apply to the tips of the dry hair. And put as many drops as you need for all over your body after showering or anytime you need hydration. This is amazing. I like that it's it can be used in your hair and on your body. I'm all about oils just because I'm a very dry skin person. So this is really cool. I'm really digging this. Let's try some over here. No. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells really good. It's very faint. It's not that strong. Floral. A little sweet. It does not feel greasy. It just sinks in really good. Wow. I, I'm absolutely loving this so far. So I think that's going to be one of my favorites. 
Okay, let's go and see what else we have. Ooh, another. So this is from the First Aid Beauty. And this is the Coconut Skin Soothing Priming Moisturizer. <laughs> so I think to, this is like the season for coconut, I swear. So this is just a primer, kind of moisturizing primer for... Uh, it has some shimmer and awesome. Okay, you can wear it be, um under your makeup or just by itself. Let's see if it has a tint to it. Man, now I can't open things with all that oil and lotion and whatnot. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, so it does have a like a light light tint. So it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, this? There we go. Hmm. This one has like smell. Is this? Does this have sunscreen? Cause it smells like it has coconut and sunscreen. Maybe it's this. Let me see. No, I don't think it has sunscreen. Huh. Maybe. I don't know, it just smells like coconut and sunscreen, you know that scent? So that's, that's cool. Okay, I like it. Ooh, no way! I actually got the one that I wanted. Okay, so I, I watched, um, earlier I watched a video for some, someone else and they, they had like a different color, like a mauve one, but I really wanted the pink one. Because, I don't know, I just, like, I have a lot of mauve um, lipsticks, and I just love bright colors. Like, I don't know, I just really like them. So this is the Kat Von D. Uh, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in K-Dub. So this is... Yeah, so this is just like a little one. Let's put it over here. Whoa. This is... Gorgeous. I'm in love with this color. Like, oh my gosh, this is so good. No, no scent, but this is like the most beautiful pink magenta, very like a purple undertone. This is beautiful. I love it. I, okay, I can't, I think I can't express myself enough how much I love this shade right now. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cool. It's like a demi matte. I'm not sure if it's gonna dry down matte, but we'll see. But that has just made the whole bag. That and the rose oil made the whole the whole bag. Okay, let's see. Last but not least is the perfume bonus. And this is awesome. This is the black opium by Yves Saint Laurent Saint Laurent. Oh the parfum. And I love this perfume. Like I already own the, I own a sample of it, like a, you know, decent size sample, and I absolutely love this perfume. It is gorgeous. I mean, I don't need to spray this because I already know I'm gonna buy this sometime soon, and I'm done with all these perfumes that I have. But um, this is one of my favorite perfumes. And it is very, very elegant. If you are looking for something like, you know, elegant to give to someone or or anyone. Um, it's very, it's sweet, but in an elegant way. It is not overpowering. It is not, you know, screaming loud. It's very subtle, sweet, mature. Um, it has, I don't know, it's just, it's beautiful. So let's try to see if we can, I can give you more details about the perfume. So this one has, it's def yeah, this is definitely for like, um, the winter, fall time because it's very warm, um, and it's kind of a little bit, I guess, spicy. I'm not, yeah, it has some coffee and hair, orange blossom, and cedar wood. So that, the coffee gives it like that depth into the fragrance. I don't know, I just really enjoy how these all come together. And it's so easy, like, I mean, so simple. So many, it's so little notes to make a beautiful fragrance. Yeah. So, I'm loving this bag. Um, now that we come to think, I mean, when it comes down to it, between 
Um, Birch Box, Obscene, is a foreign play. <sighs> I mean, I absolutely loved Sephora play. Um, the reason why Birch Box wasn't, you know, a winner is because I really don't like dry shampoo. I really don't like it, and I've already changed it a couple times, you know, my profile, so I don't get any more hair products because I do not want any. So that was the only downside. I really enjoyed everything else down there. I think it's really nice. And uh, Ipsy, you know, I also get a lot of like every other bag I get a nail polish which I, I don't necessarily mind I do like the nail polishes I, polishes I get but you know I just don't want to have too many you know if, if I could get something else that's awesome but you know it is what it is but Sephora Play is just always has something new that I don't have or haven't tried and that I really want to you know be able to purchase and you know, just with that oil and that lipstick, it blew me away. I really love this bag. I thought it was really good. I love it. And so Sephora Play takes the win for the month of June. So awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to keep seeing more of these videos, please let me know. Give it a, thumb, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me down a comment and see what you guys liked. Um, if from your boxes, if you got any. If you have any suggestions. Um, you know, just let me know. I, you know, it, it'd be awesome to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. You guys have a lovely day. Bye.